Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, certainly a nice night for a water fire, clear skies and dry conditions, and we keep the dry air for a while longer. Check out what I'm tracking, which includes tranquil conditions for now. This should extend through tomorrow morning and at least a better part of tomorrow afternoon. It's around sunset and thereafter we'll start to see uh, some precipitation working in. But now through at least noontime Saturday, looking fine, last minute shopping. Uh, heading out, uh, weather looking okay. Now, by Saturday evening and Saturday night, we're going to be looking at uh, a light mixture of both um, light snow and some light rain. Now, tomorrow night is certainly manageable to go out, do your errands and things like that. However, a little caution, a little common sense. Late at night, as temperatures get colder, there may be a thin coating of snow and some slippery spots and untreated surfaces. That would be later uh, tomorrow night. I'll show you that in more detail. And then very active weather next week, which includes a, a storm, a significant one for the eastern half of the country. Uh, Christmas Eve, we'll talk about that too. Downtown Providence, skies are clear, or clear to partly cloudy. 31 on a northwest breeze at 5, humidity is dry. Down in Newport, 33 with clear skies. And temperatures in uh, most locations now at or just below the freezing mark. Smithfield really getting a head start right now, already down to 25. In fact, most locations will head down into the mid-20s as you see that uh, cloud cover slowly eroding this evening with clear skies. Just a typical, you know, December chill across New England right now. So, you know, temperatures where they expected to be for this time of year. Starting off at about 11 o'clock tonight, clear and dry. Temperatures dropping through the 20s. A little sunshine tomorrow morning. That'll be the brightest part of the day. Draw your attention to the low clouds offshore. Watch how they start to back in on an east northeasterly wind. This is two o'clock in the afternoon. We start to see the clouds increase. It's still dry. And then notice these elements of moisture coming in off the ocean tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Blue is light snow and flurries. Green is light showers and mist and some drizzle. And that'll expand throughout the evening hours and overnight. You know, it's kind of spotty coverage, so we're not anticipating, you know, a lot of precipitation. But we think enough flurry and snow activity, especially later at night, to perhaps coat grassy surfaces, make the roads wet, perhaps a little slippery uh, inland areas away from the coastline. This would be later tomorrow night and overnight into early on Sunday morning. This is not snow plow, snow blower kind of stuff, but just a little coating uh, on the ground and on the grass. So be aware of that traveling later. Uh, tomorrow evening. Tomorrow morning is dry, getting a head start. 11 o'clock, we're at 32, becoming cloudy during the afternoon. I would say after 4 or 5 o'clock, we'll start to see that light mixture of some light snow and some light rain. Threat tracker tonight in the low category as far as anything significant. Saturday, most of Saturday day looks fine. Saturday night, I've got it in kind of the low to moderate category in anticipation of some of that mixed precipitation. Uh, Sunday, uh, kind of dreary, but as far as it being an all out stormy day, I don't see that, but it may be a little slippery in the morning with a mix of rain and snow showers. Rain coming in Monday night and Tuesday, then a more important storm system Christmas Eve. We are going to be on the windy and warm side. This is a lot of rain and a lot of wind, unfortunately. Though the good news by Christmas Thursday, it dries out. It's a very windy day. It's cooler, but not cold. Partly sunny skies for Christmas Thursday with the daytime highs between 40 and 45 and nighttime temperatures in the 20s and the 30s. So a little mist, a little drizzle, some light snow tomorrow night may make for some slippery conditions, so be aware of that. And unfortunately, a pretty big storm on Wednesday. I mean, it's not snow and ice, but it is a lot of rain, a lot of wind. So not so good for all the last minute shoppers, but at least this Christmas water fire had some nice weather tonight. Yeah, and you know, this weekend isn't overly stormy. It's a, kind of more of a, of a nuisance, but go shopping. Yeah, when you procrastinate, that's what you get. <laughs> Tony, thanks. Thanks. There's much more.